I'm Simon Esterson and I do editorial design. Uh, we own a little graphic design magazine called I and I'm also working with the NZZ in Switzerland on various magazines and, and newspaper developments. We bought I about eight years ago and really what we're trying to do is talk about partly about contemporary graphic design, what's going on, who's doing interesting things, no particular agenda for the kind of graphic design but I guess we're slightly more interested in experimental things and cultural things, slightly less in big sort of full-on corporate design. But we're also interested in history and that's always a difficult balance, you know. Uh, although apparently now the history of graphic design is much more written about and much more available online, that's still only at a kind of limited area of things and so we're, we're interested in kind of, kind of deep exploration of of archives and particular subjects if we, if we can get access to them. So the one consistent thing is the page size. We're just about to make issue 91 and I think it's really irritating for readers who collect the magazine to suddenly discover its change size. And in a way, sticking with that is, is the one you know, interesting restraint because once you start changing the page size, well, why don't you change it again? You know, that, that kind of thing. So that's a temptation we deliberately you know, avoid. Inside the magazine we can sort of do what we want, but at the same time we've got quite a lot of text. We try not to do design that overwhelms the work. I mean I think you should see the work, not really the page design. So there is a kind of there's a kind of rhythm to it. Um, but we change papers a lot, so we use coloured papers and matte papers and gloss papers and gatefolds. And and we'll think quite carefully about how we might handle something. You know, something one piece might be handled with a lot of very big pictures and not very much text, something else, uh, a lot of text and you know maybe the pictures aren't amazing or they don't need to be big. So it's that, that you know you get that, that rhythm, you want to try and make a magazine with, where there's a visual rhythm as well as a kind of rhythm of the content I think. I think it helps to have a, a passion for it and a, and, a, and a relationship with the content. You know it's, I don't think it's just about page design, I think it's about being say, engaged with, with the content and the way the content works. Um, don't expect to make any money from it. Um, but, but actually, it's a, apart from those things, it's a great time to make magazines. There's lots of printers who've got lots of press capacity who want to make magazines. The technology is really easy. You know, you can have the same tools that every mainstream magazine has, InDesign, Photoshop, all those things. You have them sitting on your, on your laptop. You can, you can do it in a coffee shop. You don't need a, an office, big office anymore, which you know, in, one, in one of the ways is the lessons of you know, what's happened to mainstream publishing. The thing that excites me is that transformation with the content. So you have a discussion and there's the idea, or well, there are words and there are pictures, but how are they going to come together? How many pages is this thing going to have? Is this the really big story in the issue or is this quite a small story? What stuff can we get? How much can it cost? How long will it take? Uh, actually, that's what interests me. That's what you know, drives the choices with the material. It's, it's that transformation of the material. And page design is, is kind of part of that, but, it, but it's only part of it. You know, I, I love sitting there laying out the relationship of things on a page, but in a way, that's where we're right at the end of the process by that point. There's been a whole bunch of interesting and invisible decisions that have happened before that that involve not just you as a designer, but conversations with editors and sub-editors and all sorts of things. <laughs>